Hi everyone, welcome to our simple kitchen. Today we're making our top five easy to make Super Bowl party snacks. These recipes all use easy to find ingredients and can be thrown together quickly for a successful game day get together. We're starting off here with buffalo mac and cheese bites. You'll start by cooking a box of macaroni noodles in a large pot according to the instructions on the box. Strain and set aside. This is where the recipe separates itself from your typical box mac and cheese. Grab a large skillet and melt five tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour and stir until well combined. Once combined, let that simmer for about a minute. Then you're going to slowly add in two and a half cups of milk until a creamy sauce forms. Then sprinkle in some of your favorite seasonings. We went with garlic powder, salt, and pepper for some extra flavor. Let that simmer on medium low for three minutes. To finish the sauce, add two and a half cups of shredded cheese. I used half sharp cheddar and half mozzarella for this recipe. I highly recommend shredding your own cheese at home. It melts so much better than store-bought, but if you're in a pinch, pre-shredded will do. Grab your pot of cooked macaroni noodles and add in the cheese sauce. It might seem too thick, but trust the process. Pour in one third cup of your favorite buffalo sauce and stir until everything is combined. Scoop into muffin tins and bake at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes or until they're brown to your liking. Look at how good those look. Next up, we're making easy pretzel bites. As you can see, the secret ingredient to these pretzel bites is store-bought refrigerated biscuits, and this recipe only uses four ingredients. Start with rolling each biscuit into a log shape and cut into five bite-sized pieces. In a large pot, boil water with one quarter cup of baking soda, once boiling, add in the dough bites and boil for 15 to 20 seconds on each side. Once they are done boiling, go ahead and remove them from the water using a slotted spoon. They'll seem a little mushy when they come out of the baking soda bath, but that's completely normal. Add the dough bites to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. and brush them evenly with egg wash, which is just one egg and a splash of water stirred together. Top with a coarse or flaky salt and bake at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. I will say I was a little bit skeptical before making these, but the baking soda bath makes these turn out tasting just like pretzel bites. Pair with your favorite cheese dip or honey mustard and enjoy. Next up is one of our favorite party dips. I don't think I've ever brought this somewhere where I didn't get asked for the recipe at least once. Start by browning one pound of ground sausage and adding it to a small crock pot. Add in one and a half blocks of cream cheese and one can of Rotel diced tomatoes and chilies. Set the slow cooker to low for about two hours or until the cream cheese is nice and melted. Stir it all together and you've got a super easy, delicious game day dip. Doesn't get much easier than that. Once the dip is mixed well, scoop into a bowl and serve with your favorite chips. This is a lot like the famous Velveeta Rotel dip, but in my opinion, so much better. The combination of sausage and cream cheese is unbeatable. These slow cooker cracked chicken sliders have been super popular on our blog lately, so I wanted to share. Add one and a half pounds of chicken breast to a slow cooker, sprinkle in one packet of ranch seasoning, and add in an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Cook that on low for four to six hours until the chicken is tender and easily shredded. Shred
Shred the chicken right in the crock pot. Add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and about a cup of bacon crumbles. Freshly cooked crispy bacon tastes the best in this recipe, but I didn't want the house to smell like bacon, so store-bought bacon bits did the trick. Give it a mix and leave on low for another 15 minutes until everything is nice and melted. In a small bowl, melt some butter and add in garlic powder and pepper to taste. You can also add in some grated Parmesan cheese and parsley if you want to step it up a notch. Add the slider buns to a 9 by 13 baking dish. Add the cracked chicken mixture on top and be sure to brush on the melted butter generously before baking. Cover with foil and bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Uncover and bake for another five minutes. These are the perfect grab and go snack for any party or get together. The cracked chicken can also be used as a dip or wrapped in a tortilla to make pinwheels. Last on the list and probably the easiest to make are these adorable football cookies. Made out of just store-bought oatmeal cream pies and cookie icing, it really doesn't get much easier. You will cut each cookie into a football shape. You can use a knife, kitchen scissors, or a cookie cutter would be wonderful if you have one. You'll see here I started by cutting out a diamond shape and worked my way around to round out the corners so it looks a bit more like a football. I use the Betty Crocker cookie icing with a fine tip to pipe on the icing for the football laces, and you've got the perfect Super Bowl treat. If you enjoyed our top five Super Bowl snacks, be sure to like and subscribe for more delicious and easy recipes.